Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and today I want to talk to you guys about something a little bit different. The biggest piece of news in the fitness world this week is about Matt Kroc, the former power lifter who had become a bodybuilder a few years ago, who has now become a transgender male to female. A lot of people are upset about this, a lot of debating, fighting going on about it. My take on it personally, I really don't care. My only issue with transgenders is that I don't want to see transgender men go to female competing against women in any sort of sport that involves speed, power, or physical contact. Since he is not competing in any sport that involves speed, power, or physical contact against other females, if Matt Kroc is happier living his life as a female, I don't have a problem with it. If it makes him happy, more power to him. I don't see the big deal. I don't see why this is an issue. And furthermore, I don't see how this comes as a surprise to anyone. This is an individual who says that he identifies with the feminine. He identifies with feeling feminine. This is someone who transitioned from a sport involving speed and power over to bodybuilding. And bodybuilding as a whole really it encompasses kind of a feminine aspect anyways. It is built around ideas and principles and a lifestyle that we generally, at least in most countries and most societies, associate with feminine behavior anyways. It's the same point that I had made, or that I didn't even make that Pete, when you guys remember when I interviewed Pete, a bodybuilder who had developed an eating disorder, he realized that he, his whole outlook was very feminine and it made him no longer feel like a man in many regards because he became obsessed with his own beauty obsessed with the aesthetics of his own body to the point to where he developed a body image disorder and, and he realized that this is something that is very much what we would consider a feminine trait. So bodybuilding in general kind of is the most feminine endeavor related to weightlifting. So it's not really, okay, it might be a big jump for a lot of people, but to me it's not really that big of a jump just because of the things that I've observed in the bodybuilding world over the years that it just doesn't seem like that big of a jump or that much of a surprise that someone who becomes seriously involved in bodybuilding at the serious level, that they identify with a feminine element in themselves because they are already taking a role that we as a society consider to be feminine. He just kind of took it to a whole nother level. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative and I will talk to you guys next time.